Hello YouTube friends, today I want to talk about some tape tricks and especially slowing down tape and what it does to the sound. You can do this technique in a few different ways and I will try to describe some of them. For the first technique you need a tape deck that has a pitch control. As you can see the Tascam has a pitch control and I'm prepared like a little loop with four channels with some sounds from the Digitone and I record it on the maximum speed. I will first let you hear how I recorded it or the sounds the, the way I recorded it and then I will slow down the pitch control all the way to the negative and then you will see what it does to the sound. Let's listen to the first example. So that's how the pitch down version of the loop sounds. I think it has that really nice tape character and yeah, it just sounds warm and organic when you when you speed things down. And this is only a small amount. You can use this technique even further when you have a tape deck which has multiple speeds. And I have another Toscom to show you that. So this is the Toscom 424MK1 and the cool thing about this unit is that it has three tape speeds. So it has slow, normal and high. Uh, the other Toscom only records at high with, with like the variable pitch, but this has two slower speeds. And especially if you're making loops with multiple channels, you can do some cool tricks by recording different tracks on different speeds and then the playback, for example, all the way to slow. So you can record a high pitched note on the high setting and some other on the normal setting and mix and match them and then play it back on slow and then everything has a different texture. I'm going to try and uh, make a cool loop with all these techniques that I just talked about. So yeah, let's do it.
So hopefully it's a bit clear what I mean with with uh, the different tracks recording on different speeds. So you get the tracks that I recorded on high speed get really worn down when you pitch them two speeds lower. So that's probably like two octaves lower. Then it becomes really like crunchy and 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 yeah, the quality degrades. And if you like this. This track I recorded on normal speed on a, on a high pitch note and it keeps more of like a normal tone so when you blend them together and yeah I don't know it, it creates cool different timbres in in like one tape loop and you can create like cool atmospheres this way. Yeah which brings me to the next technique that I sometimes use and I will showcase that with a normal tape not with a tape loop but you can also do it with a tape loop but it's I will do it with a normal tape because I'm gonna record a track so I will get the digitact as well and then I will make like a small beat and then I'm gonna record it and I will show you uh, the technique that I use I will be back Okay, so I prepared a small little beat on the Digitact and the um, Digitone. Nothing really special, I just made something quick. Here it is. The technique that I want to show you is to record everything on high speed and I'm, I will first do it on high speed like normal so you have a reference and then I'm gonna record everything an octave higher and on double the, the speed and then when I play it back I will play it back on normal speed so the, the pitch should be the same only the tape effect should be uh, very noticeable so yeah I can also do it like even one extra but normally when I do it with tracks that's a bit too much so you can do that on tape loops to create cool textures with really high pitch sound but for like really like music recording it's yeah one step like one speed step is all you need you you have to hear it I will um, start a record session now <laughs> So that was the reference take. Now what I'm going to do is, so I've got three tracks now and I'll use samples and I will turn up the tune one octave. So all on 12. 
So basically how it sounds now, let me mute these. So I will do the same with this. I can go to setup and octave. I will do one octave up for all the sounds. So that sounds like this. So that will record the sound, of course, at an octave higher pitch. So when I do the tape speed half the speed, then it will get its normal pitch again. But I also need to double the tempo, otherwise the tempo would be like 50 BPM instead of 100. So let's up that as well. So that's 200. So it sounds like this. Super awesome music. I'm gonna release that on vinyl soon. So now I'm gonna record that and afterwards I will uh, play it back on normal speed instead of high speed and then you will hear what that sounds like. Here we go. So yeah, you record everything twice as fast. So hopefully this is uh, long enough to get you, uh, to give you an idea of how that will sound. Now I'm gonna rewind. So now we can listen to what, what we recorded first. We'll listen to the reference track and then afterwards I will switch the tape speed down so you can hear the, um, the technique with, which I discussed. Here we go. Okay, so that was the reference. Now I put the tape speed on normal and then we'll listen to the second bit. I think it's a little bit slower than the reference, but you can adjust that, of course, with the pitch thing. But I hope you hear that, especially the drum sounds like way more like, like bomba more bombastic or something. I don't know if that's the correct term, but yeah, it adds a lot of oomph 
to the sound so that's a technique i sometimes use and if you're getting your audio from ableton you can easily just double the speed and double the the tuning of all your sounds and then record it like that and play it back half the speed and then you get the extra tape crunchiness with this technique but let me first i reset this so now i can I think I have to pitch a little bit in the same area now. So now we can hear them side by side, what the difference is. But yes, this is a technique to get that tapey sound. I really like that. So I hope you get an idea of uh, what you can do with different tape speeds. And of course, there are way more possibilities with different types of sounds and different speeds and speed it up, speed it down. So I hope I inspired you to just experiment and get these cassettes out and just mangle, especially like digital sounds through tape and back in a sampler, for example, that's an old Detroit techno trick to just bounce back and forth to tape with a little bit of distortion saturation and get it back into your samplers to get like more more of that organic feel of the uh, of the analog realm so use best of both worlds i hope you found this a cool video if so please leave a like and i will see you in the next video peace when you speed the tape down will become blah, blah.